to all you beautiful souls and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those of you here for the first time, my name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's tarot reading is a yes or no pick a card. So please remember to ask your yes or no questions, make sure your questions are clear, and use your intuition to select your reading. Also keep in mind these are general readings, so not all parts of the reading are gonna resonate with everyone. It's okay, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Now for reading selection, we have reading number one, reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and intuitively select whenever you're ready you can pause the video if you like. For those of you that would like to participate in a short breathing exercise to help you hone in with your intuition, we'll begin that now. Start by closing your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, asking your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, one of the crystals or a number between one and five may just pop into your mind. If that happens, select that reading. If not, don't worry. One more slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now, when you're ready, open your eyes and select the reading that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. All right, for reminders, we have reading number one reading number two, reading number three, reading number four, and reading number five. Go ahead and use the timestamps in the comments and description to jump ahead to your reading, and I will see you there. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number one with the Chrysocola. Your first message of the reading is to start fresh. So take it however it resonates, but there's a fresh start here for you. Now, as has been my reading style of late, I'm going to get the yes or no directly from the transparent tarot. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please use the transparent tarot and speak to us clearly through the cards, answering yes or no for group number one. Okay, you start with the Queen of Pentacles. All right. Well, that's death. Death is a new beginning, so this is definitely a fresh start. There is a, well, let's, let's see what the next card is. The Three of Pentacles, okay, and we need uh, one more, please rebirth okay yeah I think that uh, this is a very clear message for somebody specific it it is it is a yes even with the death card in there and the reason it's a yes is because major arcana came out with the phoenix as well and the phoenix represents judgment it's a second chance now, some of you are asking questions of a 
financial nature. You were the queen of coins, something changed. You're being appreciated for your work or you wanted the queen of coins. Something is changing. You're changing into the queen of coins. Any of those, however it resonates. But the queen of coins is absolutely, or, and the, the queen of coins is the same as the queen of pentacles. The queen of coins is a generous energy. You know, she wants for nothing and she shares what she has. So you are stepping into this queen of wands. Now I would like to see the situations around this. Yes, because this, this, even with the death card in there, this is a yes, because death just signifies a rebirth. It signifies something new and the Phoenix is rising from the ashes. So that is perfect. Now, let's see what situations we're talking about. So, we'll start with the Palace of Swords. So, trying to figure out what action to take. Justice. Okay. So, you got justice and judgment coming out. Um, when you see those two cards together, a lot of times, and I am not a lawyer by any stretch of the imagination nor anyone in the legal field, but when you see that, there generally are people who are watching that are asking questions about legal things. And it does look like the legal thing is going to go your way. So please just, you know, rest assured with that. And uh, now let's see what's next. What other... All right, making decisions around how you're going to spend your money. And clinging to something too tight or something sneaky going on. Okay. All right. So some of you are asking what action you need to take. Some of you are trying to find balance. Some of you are asking about legal things. Some of you are needing to make decisions about where you spend your money. But the implication from this two of coins is that you have money to spend and you've got the three of coins in here or the three of pentacles in here that uh, says you're being appreciated for your work and you're getting a second chance of a financial nature because you've got the, the queen and the three of pentacles kind of ruling what's going on here. Now, the seven of swords, that could be something sneaky going on. We'll get some oracle and see what's going on there. But before that, I want to get an angel card. So... Let's see what the uh, angels have to add for the best benefit of group number one. All right, you're told be strong. You are strong. You know, but look at this. There, there is a strength to you. He is calm in the ocean of... Well, the ocean's just all around him and he's still calm. He's just standing there strong on one foot at this point. And he's just, you know representing you. You've got the strength to step into whatever this second chance for you is. Now, let's see with Moonology what there's to add to this Seven of Swords. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for the Seven of Swords, please. Take time to breathe out. Okay. So some of you are clinging to something way too tightly and you need to take some time and really breathe and figure out what it is you want. You know, you, you have to make decisions now about where you're going to spend your money, about who you're going to live with, about what you're going to do. You know, all of this is about action. I'm going to see Queen of the Moon, please, for the Palace of Swords and the Two of Coins. So your palace of swords is resilience. You are resilient. You can stand up and take whatever action you need to to start fresh. You just need to take some time and figure out exactly what that action should be. Now, let's see for the two of coins, you get beauty. All right, these are beautiful decisions you're going to be making around money. So you're going to be just, you know, like you're going to have the money to make the decision of where you want to live, of how you want to spend your extra money. And it's beautiful because you got the beauty card. Now for justice, I want to see the spellcasting oracle, please. So for justice, out of the spellcasting oracle. 
compassion. All right, so you need some balance. You need to show yourself some compassion. That's a real typical message that we get. It's probably an everyone message. You know, you just need to show yourself some compassion. You need to bring yourself into balance. Make sure you are treating yourself the way you would treat your best friend because you should be your own best friend. Now for the yes, ooh, fertility. All right, so take it as it resonates. Some of you are asking about motherhood and it looks like a yes. Some of you are um, fertile with ideas that are gonna bring you into the Queen of Pentacles energy. So just uh, whatever resonates with you, but the answer to whatever you ask Tarot is yes. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add for group number one. Patience is a virtue. All right, so you have to be patient. You're going to get your second chance, but you have to be patient. The universe moves at its own speed, and it's, you know, it's trying really hard to bring in this second chance and new beginning for you. But uh, but you have to be patient while it approaches. Now, let's see what Beyond Lemuria has to add for your reading. Evolution. Yeah, you are evolving. You know, this is, this is, I mean, like the phoenix is reborn from the ashes. And the phoenix is, you know, judgment. It's a second chance. You guys are getting the second chance. You're evolving into something beautiful. And you just need to be authentically yourself as you do. Now, let's see what the tiny starseed deck has to add. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. Out of the starseed deck, please. Okay, we'll cut to them. Oh, okay. Inner alchemy. Inner alchemy is achieved when you react to fear with love. Okay, so for those of you that are dealing with fears, you know, you, we all deal with fears. You need to react with love when fear comes around. Now, next, you get guidance. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. And finally, love. Live your truth and share the love that is in your soul. So some of you are asking about second chances in uh, relationships, I just felt as well. So, you know, your relationship questions, yes, it's absolutely, you're getting a second chance here. Now, yeah, this uh, doesn't have to be romantic love. I just picked that up, you know, at that moment. Now, let's talk about the mini tarot deck. So, we will use this to, for any messages from departed loved ones. <clears throat> Excuse me. For any additional messages of any kind. So, just whatever comes through, take it if it resonates, leave it if it doesn't. Now, for the mini tarot deck, please, whatever needs... Okay, that's too much. This is way too much, but we will take this. Okay, Six of Wands, you get victory. That's beautiful. Okay, what else? So you guys are going to be victorious. I love it. I just, I think it's great that they're encouraging you so. You get the star. That's a gift from the divine. Like the star is a gift. It's also healing. So that's beautiful. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate that. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number two with the jade. Your first message of the reading is to be the bigger person. So whatever you're asking about, um, you're going to be asked by the universe to be the bigger person. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the yes or no portion with the transparent tarot.
so angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please speak to us clearly through the transparent tarot, answering yes or no for the questions of group number two. All right, Page of Cups, that's fun, good times, okay. Five of Pentacles. Six of Wands, okay. So you're gonna overcome your fear with regards to money. What is the Five of Swords? This does look like a no to whatever you ask Tarot though. Like it is, it's a no that you wanted for most of you. So if this is not the no, if you're not wanting a no, then I'm sorry. We'll take a look at the situations and kind of see what's going on. See how you can step out of some of the swords energy. But, uh, but it, it looks like a no to whatever you asked. You're going to be victorious in whatever you asked. Like you are going to be victorious, but not, not the answer to your question is no. So, um, I try to make that clear for everybody, but I, you know, it's, it's difficult when you've got these really positive no's. Now, let's see what situations we're talking about. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations surrounding group number two's questions. Eight of Swords. All right, so some of you feel like you're stuck. Temperance. You need balance. She is balancing fire and water with a rainbow. So balance, balance, balance. You need to do something to bring balance into your life. Ooh, the Ten of Cups. All right, so that is a dream come true. So see this victory with the Six of Wands? The, the Ten of Cups is a dream come true. It's beautiful. And then the emperor, you taking your life by the reins and really directing it in the direction you want to go. So again, I, uh, I want to reiterate that the answer to whatever your question was, was no. Think about how you phrased it if you expected a yes, because this looks like a super positive no. Um, it is, you know, there, it includes fun. It includes good times. It includes victory. You've got the double fives coming out, which make it, you know, which make it the no. The Five of Swords talks about worry around work or home. And then the Five of Pentacles talks about fear around money. But I think that they're mostly there just to make it a no. Because everything in the situation surrounding it look good. I mean, you've got this Eight of Swords energy, which is a stuck energy. But everything else is good. You've got balance coming in. You've got a dream come true. And you've got the opportunity to really take your life by the reins and and really lead it the way you want it to go. Now, let's see what the angels have to add to your reading. All right, so angels, for the best benefit of group number two, please. Generosity, all right, so you are having angelic generosity poured out on you. You are getting a dream come true. It may be like no to whatever you were asking, but they're telling you, hey, you've got a dream come true coming in and we're pouring out our generosity for you. So that is beautiful. Now let's see what the Eight of Swords draws out of the Moonology deck. So angels for the Eight of Swords, please. A personal issue reaches resolution, full moon in Cancer. Okay, so this stuck energy is coming to an end. Whatever makes you feel like you can't move, like you can't move forward, it's coming to an end. A personal issue is going to reach resolution. It looks good. Now, let's take a look at Queen of the Moon for Temperance and the Emperor. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, for Temperance, please, out of Queen of the Moon. Trust. All right, you need to put your trust into yourself. You need to take a really balanced approach to just the situation in general. But I really feel with this trust card like you don't trust yourself a little bit. And that's just not how you should be. You are your, like, you are strong and amazing and wonderful and deserve your own trust. 
Now for the emperor, the masculine. Yeah, the emperor and the masculine, that's like almost the same card. Um, that talks about the strength coming from inside you and, you know, you really taking a power role in your life. All right, now let's see what the spellcasting oracle has to add for the Nine of Cups. Because the Nine of Cups is a dream come true. Like, that is just an absolute dream come true. And out of the spellcasting oracle, it draws courage. Have courage to step into your dream come true because it's being offered to you. So whatever it is you're dreaming of, you know, have the courage to step into it. Now for the no, I would also like to get the spellcasting oracle for the no. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, family. Okay. So your family is, you know, they, well, you know, there's so much. <laughs> There, some of you, family is an issue. Family is something that you're overcoming because you have soul family and friends, but you don't have, you know, blood relatives anymore. And that is a, a difficult aspect for you. And then some of you are being told to rely on your family. That family is a huge aspect of what you're doing and that... Uh, that you need to rely on them. Now, this does not have to be a blood family. This can be your uh, soul family. This can be your friend family. You know, this is anyone that you love as family. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add. So, from the spirit guides, please. Lead by example. Okay. Okay. So you're being told to be the bigger person and lead by example. It seems like there's a conflict somewhere. Um, just, you know, take it as it resonates, but you're, you're asked to be the bigger person and lead by example. So put a resolution, get out of this, you know, a personal issue reaches resolution, bring things to a close so you can step into your wonderful, happy, you know, dream come true. Like who wouldn't want to, to have the courage to step into the nine of cups and you do, because it's coming out in your cards. Now, let's see what Beyond the Maria has to add. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, out of Beyond the Maria, please. Internal explorer. So, a lot of you actually enjoy meditation. That's funny, because I was just talking to somebody yesterday about uh, nobody really enjoying meditation. And, and the fact that I do when I get to go on a guided meditation journey... But that's neither here nor there. You've got the internal explorer. So a lot of you need to do meditation. If you're not already meditating, you will find it enlightening. A nice guided meditation will help you explore some of the deeper parts inside yourself. There is a lot to be found out from some exploration. All right. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, out of the little star seed deck, please. All right, we'll go through one more time. Okay, there's one. Two and three. Okay. All right, so you start with freedom. Follow your heart and nurture your soul with love and freedom to grow. All right, that is going to go with this personal issue reaching resolution. Then you get signs. The universe has been gently nudging you forward by revealing to you signs and synchronicities. And finally, you get vibration. Your vibration is being raised to higher levels. You are connected to cosmic intelligence. You absolutely are. You are being guided. Do this, you know, internal exploring that you're being asked to do here and really see how you're connected. The universe is sending you all kinds of signs from angel numbers to this reading that's telling you, hey, Step out of this fight, argument, whatever's going on over here. Be the bigger person. Lead by example. Let the issue come to resolution. And you're going to step into this dream come true. You're going to take your life by the reins. You have the courage to do it. You are strong enough. So, you know, the like I said, the answer was no out of the transparent tarot. But this is a very positive, very positive no. 
So let's take a look at any additional messages that need to come out for group number two. All right, you start with the Four of Swords, so you need to get some rest. You know, some of you really need to pay attention to that rest. It's important. It's a significant part of life is making sure you take care of yourself. Now, ha what else? Is there anything else? All right, we're going to cut to one. The hanging man. All right, some of you need to have a different perspective on yourself and your courage to be able to step into your dream come true. But you can do it. You have the courage. Like, it's it's there. It It's yours for the taking. You just have to change your perspective a little bit and realize that there's going to be delays. You know, there's going to be things that take time. We're all growing. We're all moving. But, uh, but your dream come true here with the Nine of Cups looks amazing. So thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number three with the Amazonite or Amazonite, however you say that. Um, loosen your grip is the first message of your reading. So whatever it is you're talking about with tarot, you need to loosen your grip on it just a little bit. Now let's get your yes or your no directly out of the transparent tarot. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer yes or no for group number three. Speak to us clearly through the cards. All right, you start with the Hierophant. And the Seven of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. And the Phoenix. All right, this is an absolute yes. Like, the Hierophant talks about um, really foundational things. That's why it's a tree in this particular deck. Um, foundational things like education. So some of you asking about education, some of you asking about reunions and second chances with people, some of you asking about finances, and you're going to be waiting for a little bit. See how the seven of pentacles, he was, well, we'll go back down to the seven of pentacles. See how with the seven of pentacles, he's kind of trying to catch what is falling from the tree you are going to reap the rewards of the hard work that you've put in and you are already being appreciated for that hard work in whatever situation you're asking tarot about but there's going to be a second chance with the phoenix so the answer to whatever you ask tarot is yes now let's take a look at the tarot of dreams and see kind of what situations we're talking about specifically so, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please show us the situations we're talking about or any messages that will be of assistance regarding the situation for group number three. All right, four of swords, so you guys need to get a little bit of rest. Ooh, the magician, very nice. You guys manifesting what you want. Ten of coins, beautiful abundance and the seven of swords so hanging on to something just a little bit too tightly which that's where this loosen your grip comes in um for some of you it's a financial thing so don't cling to your money like you just you know can't possibly spend it you know do something nice for yourself every once in a while don't uh, don't cling to it so tightly now this could represent sneakiness somewhere in the situation for those of you that it resonates for. So we will look at Moonology for the swords here in just a second. But first, let's get an angel message for your reading. So from the angels for group number three, you get love. All right, beautiful. Angelic love for you. Some of you asking about love. Some of you falling in love, which is a wonderful, wonderful emotion. 
you know, it is, you know, love is the most beautiful thing on the planet, in the universe, and um, the angels are, are pointing it out for you. Now, out of Moonology, let's see what is added to this rest in the Four of Swords. All right, look at the bigger picture. Okay, so for those of you that just won't give yourself even a minute of rest, you need to look at what it's going to do to you in the long run. Look at the bigger picture and take some time for yourself. I'm really getting that for this reading. Take some time for yourself. Spend some money on yourself. Um, for this Seven of Swords, what is there to add? Bring love into the situation. Okay. Yeah. So you... Love is just, you know, a significant factor in this reading. And you, some of you are dealing with someone who has done something backstabby to you. Bring love into that situation and it's going to get better. You know, you can't undo what you did. You can't undo what they did. But if you bring love back into the situation, it's going to help. So that's a real specific message. Take it if it resonates. Now, let's see what the Queen of the Moon has to add for the Magician. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors for the Magician, please. Blossoming. Yeah, you are blossoming. The Magician is about manifesting the life you really want. See how it's got all the suits of the tarot? This is you using all of your gifts to really manifest what you want in life. And you are blossoming. You are heading the right direction. Now, this abundance, this abundance looks amazing. And you get resistance. So you are strong enough to step into this abundance, okay? See all the life that's in this resistance? There is so much life in this. And it's helping you step into this fantastic abundance in the Ten of Coins. Now, I would like to see the Spellcasting Oracle for the Yes. So, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, out of the spellcasting oracle, please. Peace. All right. So, some of you definitely need to make peace over here with whatever you feel like you've been backstabbed about. Um, peace is heading into all of the situations that you're asking Tarot about. So, that is a lovely, lovely energy to have. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add to your reading. So, from the guides, give without expectation. Okay, so take it as it resonates. Give of yourself, give, you know, whether this is financial, whether it is your heart, your soul, you need to give without expectation. And it's really freeing, you know, when you just give of yourself freely, it's, uh, it's a freeing feeling. Now, let's see what the... Beyond Lemuria deck has to add. So out of the Beyond Lemuria deck. The infinite. Okay, you are connected to the infinite. You, in fact, are infinite. You know, your spirit, your soul, who you actually are is infinite. And you can draw whatever you want to yourself with this magician here. So really let yourself blossom. Take this second chance that you're asking about. Step into peace. And for those of you that need to forgive over here, just bring love into the situation and, you know, forgive what's been done. There's, there's something that's been done there. Now, let's see what the little starseed deck has to add. So from the star seeds, you start with surrender. Surrender your need to control the outcome. Just be with life in this present moment. Okay, yeah, you heard them. Just be here now. You also get free spirit. To be a free spirit is to float without walls, to fly without judgment, and to love without conditions. So really try to step into that free spirit energy. And then finally, you get release. Release anything that keeps you from your path of authenticity. So whatever this situation is here where you feel like you've been stabbed in the back, you know, bring love in, release your anger, release, you know, anything that keeps you from that path of authenticity. 
because you've got beautiful blessings to step into and you're manifesting fantastic things. Now, from the tiny tarot deck, we will take messages from departed loved ones or additional messages from angels, spirit guides, ancestors. So, oh, well, they fell off the table. So let's see. All right, you've got the Empress, the Queen of Wands, and the Chariot. So you are moving into, some of you are talking about motherhood with this Empress right here. Foundational things as well. The Queen of Wands talks about you stepping into your authentic self, and the Chariot talks about you making progress based off of what you put in. So you guys are all heading the right way. You know, you're heading the right way. You're heading into what you want. You got a yes to whatever you asked, Tarot. Please let go of whatever this negative is over here. Release anything that keeps you from your path. And surrender to the moment because this is the moment. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me t as your Tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number four with the Selenite. Your first message of the reading is to clear the clutter. So get rid of the clutter, clear the clutter. Now let's see what you get out of the transparent tarot as far as your yes or no. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, please answer clearly through the cards, yes or no, for the questions of group number three. Okay. You start with the tower and death and the two of wands. All right, this is clearly a no. You know, this is, this is clearly a no. You've got partnerships coming out of whatever you are talking to Tarot about, but this is very clearly a no. Um, there's change in the tower. There's death and rebirth, but, uh, but it's, it's very clearly a no to whatever you ask Tarot. Now, let's see what situations are surrounding what you asked and what, um, what advice there is from the angels, spirit guides, ancestors. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the situations around what they're asking tarot, please show us. Happy home, two of wands again. So romantic creative partnerships flourishing. The hermit, okay and the King of Cups. All right, so some of you definitely wanted a no. In fact, a lot of you definitely wanted a no because um, there's a lot of positive things in the situation surrounding. You guys are asking about new home moves, um, some of you. So it looks like not right now or however you asked it, but the Ten of Cups is a, it's a, it's a wonderful energy. It is happy home life and then, you know, creative romantic partnerships flourishing, using some quiet time productively with the hermit and, you know, spending some time alone with the hermit as well. And then the King of Cups is a wonderful, loving, generous energy that is just so compassionate and beautiful. So these are wonderful energies to be surrounding the situations that, uh, that you're talking to Tarot about. Now, let's see what the angels have to add. Ooh, Archangel Chamuel. She's the Archangel of Love. All right, so she's bringing love into the situation. You should call out to Archangel Chamuel, especially those of you asking love questions. Um, she will definitely be able to help. Now, let's see what the, you know, let's see what the hermit draws out of Moonology. All right, so this time alone is a time for healing. It's a time for, so the time that you're spending alone, 
regarding, you know, this is whatever the situation is. The time that you're spending alone is a time for healing. So just use that time to heal your soul, heal your spirit, heal your body. Just heal in your quiet alone time. Now, let's see what Queen of the Moon has for the Ten of Cups and the King of Cups. So for the Ten of Cups, you get self-reflection. Okay, so you guys needing to spend some time being your own best friend. You know, it's going to make things work better at home if you do some self-reflection and really figure out what's going on with you. Now, the King of Cups, ooh, sovereignty. All right, this King of Cups represents you. You know, the sovereignty is a, well, it's the Queen of the Moon. And, you know, it's such a wonderful strength card. You've got this tremendous strength that's wrapped in compassion with the King of Cups. So even though you got a no to whatever you asked Tarot, everything is going in the right direction. Like you've got all of this wonderful stuff coming out around the no. So everything looks like it's heading the right direction. It's just no to whatever you asked. So, you know, there may be a different route that the universe is taking to get you there. Now, I would like to get, because you got the two of wands on top twice. So I am going to pull Spellcasting Oracle for both two of wands. So for the two of wands by itself, compassion. Yeah, no, that's what I was talking about with this compassionate energy over here. This is, it's going to work. Like everything, your partnerships are going to work out. They're going to be great. So that's not part of your no. Like your partnerships are going to work out smashingly. And you get happiness. Okay, so like I said, a lot of you happy about this no. You know, this was the no that you were looking for. It's very positive. So let's see what the spirit guides have to add for group number four. So group number four from the spirit guides. You're asked to stay open-minded, especially with that self-reflection. So do a little meditation. Go talk to your inner self and keep, keep your mind open. You know, you don't know what will happen until you try it. So just take what resonates, but it's a suggestion. You know, those guided meditations can really help sometimes. Now, from Beyond Lemuria, what does Beyond Lemuria have to add? Radical expansion. All right, you are growing, growing, growing right now. So this is, this is beautiful. Now, what do the star seeds want to add? All right, you start with love. Live your truth and share the love that's in your soul. And then you also get guidance. You are not alone. You are guided by masters and teachers of the highest realms. So that is beautiful. Now, any additional messages that want to come through with the mini tarot deck? So any additional messages? All right, we'll see what that is. Okay, so you have the Knight of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles, and Justice. All right, you guys have financial opportunities coming in. Some of you, like these are financial opportunities headed in. The, the Knight of Pentacles moves kind of slower, so it may be out there a little ways, but you do have a financial opportunity headed your way. You need to reward yourself with luxuries that are within your reach right now that will help draw in your abundance. And then justice is balance. So you are coming into a wonderfully abundant balance. All right, that is all I have for group number four. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected reading number five with the angel aura quartz. Your first message of the reading is to lighten up. So whatever you're asking Tarot about, don't take things too seriously. You know, lighten up, really bring some light in. Now, let's take a look at your yes or no. So, we'll use the transparent tarot, angels, spirit guides, ancestors. 
Please answer clearly yes or no through the cards for group number five. All right, you start with the Queen of Wands. Death. I have seen death come out a lot today. Let's see what else this comes out with. Page of Cups. What else? Ooh, Page of Pentacles. And you know what? I want one more because this looks like a yes, even though it's got death in it. Yeah, Two of Pentacles. Okay. All right, so this is a yes. It's death represents death and rebirth. So something has got to end for a new beginning to happen. You need to step into your more authentic self with the Queen of Wands. So that is you stepping into your more authentic self. You've got the pages coming out. The Page of Pentacles talks about financial opportunities that you're going to take. The Page of Cups talks about fun socializing opportunities that you're going to take. And then the Two of Pentacles talks about you making decisions, how you're going to spend your money, where you're going to live, who you're going to live with, those sorts of decisions. And um, it, it has the implication that you have money with which to make those decisions. So it looks good. You, um, it's, it's definitely a yes, even with the death card being in there. Now, let's take a look at the situations surrounding what you asked. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, the situations surrounding what they asked. Please speak to them clearly through the cards. Nine of coins. Two of swords. Ten of coins. And temperance. Okay. So the nine of coins talks about you needing to reward yourself with luxuries to bring in your abundance. So whatever's within your realm, you need to just do something nice for yourself. Now, the Two of Swords talks about a stalemate not being able to see the way out of it. So we'll pull Oracle and see how you step out of the stalemate. The Ten of Coins is abundance. It's a wonderful, wonderful abundance that you're going to step into. And then Temperance is balance. She is balancing fire and water with a rainbow. So it is ultimate balance and you are stepping into this beautiful, blissful balance now, let's see what the angels have to add to your reading, and then we'll pull Oracle for all of the tarot. So, angels, for the best benefit of group number five. Archangel Jophiel. She's the Archangel of Joy. All right, you've got Archangel Jophiel. Bring joy into your life. So, just don't forget to thank her. You know, thank you so much, Archangel Jophiel, for, for being part of our reading. So, let's see from Moonology what the two of swords calls out of it so how do they step out of this stuck energy in the two of swords the answers you need are coming all right so you know take it as it resonates but that's one of those you know you're the answers you need are coming but they're they're not here yet like they didn't give us the way out um let's take a look at queen of the moon for the coins. So let's see this wonderful abundance that you got going on. Uh, with the nine of coins first, you get fruition. All right, so do something nice for yourself. It will bring your abundance into fruition. I'm not talking about something crazy. I'm talking about, you know, something within your realm of affordability that is just an extra little luxury for you. Go ahead and do that. That is going to bring your abundance in a little bit more. Now, the Ten of Coins abundance, you're hungry for this abundance. Okay, don't desire, I mean, you should desire abundance, but if you chase, chase abundance with this super hunger, it's not going to come in. You're always going to keep chasing it. So let some of this hunger go. You're going to step into your abundance. It's, you know, very clear. This, uh, this reading is, is much about abundance. Now, I would like to see the Spellcasting Oracle for Temperance. So... Out of the spellcasting oracle, please. Justice. Also balance. Like, you need to come into balance. Balance, balance, balance. Uh, let's see what the um, spellcasting oracle says for the transparent tarot. Talent. All right. So, take it as it resonates. Some of you are asking about talent-related things. You know, should you 
follow this dream or that dream? And the answer is yes. You know, something's got to end for a new beginning there. But the answer is yes. It's going to bring you money. It's going to bring you socialization. It's going to help you step into your more authentic self. It is beautiful. So follow your talents. They're going to lead you the right direction. Now, let's see what the spirit guides have to add to your reading. So from the spirit guides... Don't relinquish your power. Okay, yeah, no, don't relinquish your power. You really be who you are and don't let anyone, don't let this situation here that is making it hard for you to see a way out, don't, don't let it overrule you. Don't relinquish your power. You are a very powerful being and you are stepping into wonderful beauty here. Now, let's see what Beyond Lumeria has to add. So, from Beyond Lemuria, the Portal Keeper. All right, so many of you are cat people. Um, for some of you, that's a confirmation to some sort of question you asked with the cat coming out. Um, the Portal Keeper is like it's the thinning of the veil. So, Archangel Jophiel is, you know, working with you, and she is, you know, surrounding you. So, you might even see your cats you know, interacting with the Archangel Jophiel energy. Now, let's see what the little starseed deck has to add to the reading. So, let's see here. All right, we'll cut to them. You start with light. It's time to reveal your radiant light to the world. Absolutely, it's time for you to step into your light and patience be patient and allow destiny to unfold at its own pace all right so be patient your abundance is coming really patience the universe works at its own pace finally you get courage live your life fearlessly with courage strength and determination that goes with your talent you have the courage to chase your talent it's going to take you places you are going to at least at the very least have a very good time so really follow your talent now, let's see what the mini tarot deck has to add. So, you start with the Seven of Wands. So, wherever you put your energy in and you fight for it, you're going to win. So, that may go with the talent. I feel like there are some people here that are talking about, like, competitions. And, like, you know, like, that's too many. Like, I'm feeling a dance competition. I don't know why. So, if you have the dance competition, please leave a comment so that I know I'm not crazy. Now, let's see what else there is. Okay, there we go. All right, you get the Queen of Swords. So, the Queen of Swords is all about action. You need to take the action that's going to bring you into this abundance. It's going to bring you into this balance. You need to let go of some of this hunger and really figure out what action you need to take to start your beautiful journey. All right, that is all I have for group number five. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.